Hello there, and welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory, and um, I am joined today by the fair JJ Gregory. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you. It's great to be here. So um, that was quite a herd. <laughs> Move over. That was a lot, really a lot of amazing interpretations of cows, just beautiful. It's true. I mean, more variety and expression, individualized expression, than uh, than the usual, which is always pretty impressive. So, yeah, bravo to cows. I, you know, I doubted the cows. I doubted the cows, but uh, yeah, cows don't have very expressive faces, really. But people brought a lot of expression to it, and yeah. that was really nice. So we had fun. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if you know it, but it's hot. <laughs> it is. I think the news keeps telling everyone it's some type of atypical event, but in Phoenix, in Phoenix, yeah, in Phoenix, it's just the parts of the world. It's always atypical. hot this time of year. It, it, people keep texting to ask, "Are you okay?" It's yeah. it's really um, it seems kind of the same as it always is. Although we typically have monsoon storms that cool things off from time to time, and we have not not a nary a one. It's so true, yeah. Uh, the New York Times has been Phoenix right. People in Phoenix could go get their cars washed. This is usually a way to bring on the rain. I think I'm, like, I'm going to go wash our old car today. It's true, yeah. I mean, uh, the New York Times has written articles about us, so all of our about the heat here, and it is a record-breaking number of heat days above yeah, in a row, in a above row. 110 degrees. So it is, it is kind of insane. But basically, we just don't go outside, um, and all of our friends in New York are writing to us to say. Are you still alive? And we are. <laughs> so if you're watching this and you're and one of our friends in New York, we're here. This is live. We're actually alive. So yes, um, let me just quickly t tell you about Edding. So Edding is uh, our, one of our beloved sponsors. And this week we are featuring these 1340 brush pens. Um, they're fantastic for lettering and that's how they're this package, this set is uh, specifically called the brush lettering starter set. But uh, I, I'm going to use them for other purposes besides lettering today. And what will you use them for? It's up to you to decide because we are giving away three sets of these beautiful Edding 1340s. Um, if you would like to be considered for them a set, then uh, you said it was in a metal box? No, I read the wrong thing. She made it up. Um, but <laughs> write to us at info at Yes, write to us at info at schedulescall.com. Send us your U.S. mailing address. Tell us that you would like them. Maybe tell us why you would like them. That might help uh, to make our decision. And um, Or you can write to us at our post office box. But these are really nice, and I'm going to talk more about them as, as the... Someone, as in, someone in the chat, Elizabeth, was commenting she won watercolor paper this week. So if anybody has wondered, is it real? I assure you. Oh, yes. It's real. It's real. You it can, is very You can real. get something for nothing, for literally sending an email. Which is kind of nothing, right? What does it cost to send an email these it's days? Very little. Very it's little, very little. Very little. Low, but you can send us a, you can send us a card or a package. Nobody has sent cookies in a while. Not not. No, we, we don't want cookies anymore. It's too hot. <laughs> you know what you could do is send us. Don't send cold, ice. Send us cold. Yeah, send, send us, us monsoons. Send us, send us. Send us. If you could send a package do, of do rain, a, that would be great. Yeah. So, Wash yes. your car and park it outdoors. Gina has won. Heather has won. Polenta See? Pot has won. It's. Uh, yes. It's awesome. Nancy wants to win 1,340 pens. She <laughs> won't. She will win 10 <laughs> pens. But they will each bear the number 1,340 because that is the model. Um, yes. So mm -hmm. if you would like to be one of these people who comes on and brags, like Sandy. Look at um, this. It's like a string of winners. Yes. You guys are Nancy winners. and Deb and Alex. And guess what? None of you are going to win again for a little while. Yeah, that's we, true. If Mark you've won recently, you won't win again. And Kate. And, uh, oh, yeah. and Mark Rosenbaum is here. He sent us the most amazing pralines, or do they say pralines from Praline. New Orleans. Yes. They are stunning, and the package they were in was also very cute. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Arlene says she's won several times. All right, Arlene. That's, oh. Now that you've alerted us to that, you will not. You know, not. because Arlene shows up every week. This is how That's somebody true. is a friend. They show up for you. 
It's true. And uh, Deb won a year ago, and Alex won last year. So see, yes, there so you go. yes, um, so we are glad to do it. We are glad to share these things because. Our sponsors make great stuff, and the best way to figure that out is to try it. So, yeah, they want you guys to know about it. And you know what? If you don't win, guess what? Prize open your wallet, <laughs> let the moths escape, and buy yourself some art supplies. You deserve it. That's true. Isn't that true. sort of what people think that Arlene makes deserves li- to win? Makes life worth living, it buying is, art supplies? Arlene is the hardest working artist in the business. Arlene, we love you. We truly do. And so does everyone else in the chat. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to what we were going to talk about. So we were talking about um, how hot it is. And here in Phoenix, at least, the one thing that we do is we go to the movies. And um, we just went, we go to new movies and old movies. We went to the movies two days ago because it's so nice to go to the movies, get in the car, go to the movies. Avail yourself of their air conditioning. Sit in the air conditioning, and at least you're out of the house. I have so. to take a puffy coat with me to the movie theater. That's how it's a nice perverse it is. It's, a nice it's so cold in there. It's Arctic. I know, mm-hmm. but I, I do feel like it's sort of depressing that like we're buying, we're going to like the $5 movies. And didn't you buy some ticket for me that was like a senior citizen ticket recently? <laughs> I'm just, that I'm it not into. It was 60 and over. And I thought to myself, I'll, t- I mean, I would yeah, like yeah. to save $2. I know. But I, what about my pride? Isn't my pride worth $2? Okay. What about my youthful vigor? You know. <clears throat> Helen's going to see Barbie at no BAFTA. Problem. Wow, at BAFTA. That's, it's just bizarre that Barbie would even be considered for a BAFTA, but yes. I can't wait to see Barbie. We are going to see... Um, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. So this is a, it's a documentary about the investment firm, isn't it? <laughs> Don't even make a silly joke. All right, so, yeah, so we're going to go and see that. It should be explosive. Um, but yes, so, so one of the things about going to the movies is candy. Because I don't know if you know it, but if you eat candy in a movie, you don't gain weight and you don't lose teeth. <laughs> so we are big champions of that. Um, and uh, that is our theme for today, which is we're going to draw some movie candy. Uh, we haven't, we've drawn candy a little bit before. We did, we, I think, a few years ago on Halloween. And we did. We, we, are, yeah. fr- we are fans of if. Anyone is still confused. We have a sweet tooth. We like we have we have f- <laughs> fewer teeth, but they are sweet. Um, but yes, so I'm going to be using these guys, the 1340s. I mean, that just and looks like fun. Look at that. It, I, it makes they're like they're makes brushes. Me smile. They're brushes, um, and they're nice and squidgy, um, and they're just I don't know. I like them. Yeah, I mean squidgy. So uh, so, so what we're going to do today is we're going to. I have my little swatch card here too. Oh, that's cute! Babe. And also these these things, these markers when they're wet, you can convert them into into watercolor. Only when they're wet, though. As soon as they dry, they're basically solid. What I like about them also is they don't go through the page. So I'm going to be working in a Hana Mula Nostalgie book, and it is. It's hot press paper. Well, it's not even hot press paper. It's smooth paper because it's a drawing paper. Super smooth paper. But it doesn't, unlike a lot of markers, you know, alcohol markers, it doesn't go through the paper. So let's have a look. I think we're going to start with one of your favorites, dots. A lot of people malign the the mighty dot. It's almost not food. It really is. It's so tasty. It's basically rubber. You know. But we're going to draw just so just so you know in advance before we talk about dots more. We're going to be doing, I have six, and I thought we would spend about three minutes drawing each one. Try and uh, use use some color if you want, because these are all colorful packages. That's part of the idea. I, Pop of color. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I'm going to draw six. I don't know what arrangement, but I, I just felt like drawing something graphic. And when we were talking about what to, we would work on today, that was kind of my impulse. Now, so, I don't know if anyone is like us. I mean, I've already disclosed that we're cheap enough to buy senior tickets, but you deserve a senior ticket. Let's just say that. Thanks a lot. Um, we buy our candy at CVS and bring it in in the purse. Yeah, it's pathetic. I mean, movie theater candy is a right old ripoff. Yeah. So um, so anyway, so we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this first one in, in a black line. I'm, gonna, I'm using a, a editing draw liner first, and this is a, a 1.0, big and fat. Uh, I just feel like drawing fat. I feel like drawing fat. 
Now you, if you want to, can be very, oh, I forgot to put the timer on. You can be well, very. I didn't realize this was a timed exercise. You didn't disclose. It's that. not. I did. I said it's 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 not really a timed exercise. I just kind of want to. I want to get through a few of these. So. Six. Six, right? Yeah. So I figure I, I just set a timer just to kind of keep us on track. But you can go further. I see it's made by Tootsie. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I ever knew that. Artificially flavored. No kidding. Wait, they're artificially <laughs> flavored. I mean, they don't, they don't grow naturally. They might be. They might win the award for being the most artificially flavored yeah. item on. Uh, it's basically Canada. like a small piece of rubber. Somebody else said rubber. I so disagree. I find them. You know, you use a word to describe the brush pens. I find dots to be squidgy. Really? I yeah, know. because you know, unlike a gummy bear, which you really have to chew or masticate, as you would say, if you use a SAT word, a dot. You just chomp, chomp it, and it goes slides right down. Yeah, fair enough. I really love dots. I have to say, I think they're my favorite. My favorite. How many of them could you eat? I eat a whole box in one sitting. That's do you think for they're sure. good? Are they good for movies? Do you think? Yeah, they don't make a huge amount of noise, so they don't annoy That's the person true. sitting next to you. We went with a friend to the movies last week, and she brought like a giant, like a bag of Trader Joe's kettle corn, and kettle she corn. rustled it about. Yeah, I mean, I almost punched her in the face. I can only imagine if the person sitting on the other side of her, who yeah. didn't know and love her, was being subjected to you this. Made it clear like that was not a good plan, but she didn't seem to care. Although the lowest of the low is in Manhattan once we sat next to somebody eating Chinese food. And that, to me, was yeah, that a was breach good, of the public's trust. That was not good. All right, so I'm pulling out the first of these pens. I think it's this color. So what's going to happen? Is it going to smudge the fine liner? Not it's at not, all. That's no, not going to happen, right? No, the fine liner is it's fi it's fine, babe. It's fine. It's mighty fine, in fact. So, but what I like about these is they just... They just go on smoothly. Um, they're just, you know, they're bright colors. They are they're just fun to use. It's fun. It's. I mean, I think you could do something very detailed and very, you know, sort of fine art with them. I personally just like coloring with them. But they're also really nice for lettering. And maybe I'll do one of these boxes. I'll just I'll kind of freehand letter these things just because... They're so, they're so um, I mean, you said brushy. it's squidgy, but I don't feel like it is squidgy. I feel yeah, like that squidgy. is. It's squidgy. Yeah. See, that's squidgy. That's squidgy. Oh, Jen, Jen has just talked about putting candy into the popcorn, which we absolutely do and endorse. If you haven't, folks, you haven't lived yet if you haven't put whoppers into your popcorn hey that was three minutes by the way if you're if you're keeping score what but were you supposed to get done in th those three minutes were you supposed uh, to be done with the whole box i don't know really that seems sort of aggressive i figure we won't do all of them if we run out of time <clears throat> but i'm having fun just coloring so i mean are you going to make the box yellow probably I feel like there are some good little highlights on these dots. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm just doing it. I'm going, going flat. I'm going flat and graphic. Yeah. Flat and graphic, folks. Flat and graphic. That's what. That's my. That's my approach. So this is this is pretty squidgy to me. You can just throw it on like that, and uh, you know, I want to be careful not to touch another color because if it's still a little bit wet, it it can. Activate it. I'm thinking that dark purple. It's I don't I don't draw with markers all that much, and it is really quite satisfying. I mean, I think the you do most of your work in a sketchbook. And markers can be problematic in yeah. some sketchbooks. So I think you just kind of get out of the habit of having them in the kit you carry around. Yeah, they're problematic, A, because they bleed. And I mean, I, there's nothing worse than having a, a 
arc or bleed through your page. But here, nothing. See? You see it? Nothing's going on. There's no... It's doing its job and staying on its side of the page. It's proper. Yeah. So this is fairly simple. I don't know if they'll all be this simple, but... Because there are nice things, you know, you could get into with the, uh, this, this variations inside of each of these colors. But I feel like being loose and kind of messy, so that's sort of my excuse for what I'm doing. All right, I think that's more than three minutes, but let's move on to another one. This is one that you like, too. Right? Well, let's be honest. I don't really discriminate against candy. There are candies you don't like because you the, don't like the licorice. Can, your favorite candy is the one, probably the only one I don't like. Yeah, licorice. That's what so we're like I'm oil try, and water. I'm going to try. Diana Patrick has asked, what markers are you using? Should you recap it? Diana, this is what I've been talking about. These are the 1340s. She might have just jumped in. Okay, Came sorry, sorry. Down. That's okay. These are adding 1340s. They are our sponsor, and we are giving away three sets of them today. Edding 1340 brush pens. So I'm going to try something a bit looser now, because I'm just going to try just do my own interpretation of this. You don't need to be totally accurate in what you're doing here. Although I should have done that M, so I moved, did it in the wrong place, but. All right, so my chat has decided to not work. Refresh a page. I have to. So yeah, this is, and now I'm gonna just do a fine line. There's actually a set of eddings that I will use some other time that are this same series, so in other words, the same colors, but they're not brush pens. What the heck? So they are... Are you guys still there? Yeah, I think so. Something funky is going on. Am I still on camera? Chat is not working, but you seem to still be on camera. All right, good. Yes, the chat is dead. Do you have any idea how to fix that? Uh, I'm trying to draw a package of junior mints right now. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, Yeah. is the chat dead? Chat's dead. Refresh your page? I've refreshed it. Look, look, there it is. It's not. It just popped up. Oh, good. All right, good. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's, there's, I kind of like that better. And now I'm just going to do... All oh, that you know. car washing commentary to made the internet not our friend. So... <laughs> all right, it's all coming back now. Junior mints. Junior mints are also very delicious into the popcorn. Especially when they get a little melty. That's true. <clears throat> Yeah, see, I like that better. I like, because I, as I said, these pens are really nice when you do lettering like that. They're just nice and squidgy, to use a technical term. <laughs> squidgy, the, the word of the day. Junior Mints is probably the funniest Seinfeld episode of all of them. Oh, yeah, what was the Junior Mints one? He's watching the surgery, he being Kramer, and the Junior Mint falls out <laughs> into the, like, open chest cavity. <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah, see, that's a satisfying, to me, a more satisfying version of this. 
creamy mints in pure chocolate. Now, if you now, these are just obviously American candy. So, I don't know if they're all available globally. Probably not. But let's move on to, let's do Twizzlers. Uh, these are another really vile candy, I think. What do you think? Um, I think they have a place. I think they have a place. Are they the one that I'm likely to pick up first? No. But yeah. uh, they, uh, they have a place for me. They're sort of masquerading as licorice. I mean, strawberry flavored is not licorice. Not even remotely, no. This is... Uh, I mean, it is great packaging. It's outline type here, which always reminds me a little bit of high school. You know, Did you ever do like bubble type? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I still do it. Bubble type is fun. There's a definite like red vine v twizzler throwdown happening in the chat. Red vines are good, but you know what ruined red vines for me? What's that? Costco. Why? Because you can buy like a giant bucket of them. Yeah, and because people like me have no restraint, multiple times that bucket of Costco red vines has a. Uh, Treat think, me wrong. Can you? I think you can only or buy Twizzlers. You can only buy red vines by the bucket, right? No, they have norm, they have they packages have like, that are similar to the Twizzlers. Like I'm, you know, I'm not really that familiar with them. <clears throat> I do love licorice, but I find those kinds of things troubling. All right, Twizzlers. Alex just referenced the movie Wayne's World, which during our time of duress, when we had the flu two weeks ago, we actually watched that film. That's right, we did. I vaguely remember it. <laughs> we were delir Soci Soci delirious with fever. With, <clears throat> yeah, being, I think it lowered my IQ to the characters in that. I, I found I, a lot of it intellectually challenging. <laughs> if when you have the flu and your brain is heated up on fire, this is the level of uh, comedy you're able to en enjoy. Do you miss being sick? <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah, and if everyone's texting us about it being hot outside, it's like I haven't it's hot inside. My body is burning up. In some ways this this kind of drawing reminds me of when we were in advertising and you draw products like this for a storyboard or a print ad or something like that. You know, drawing packages. Oh, guess who's rolling up? The leaf blowers. Although I don't think there are any leaves on the the leaves are all all the dead leaves paper bits of dust. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to move on to another fine. Aha! Here we go. The best. Yeah, this is Danny's numero uno. The best. <clears throat> Not my cup of tea. But the way you feel about licorice is how I feel about cilantro understand now yeah i do i never questioned it i like this type they've redone this package a few times but this type is this type is pretty nice hey twigs uh nobody needs to hear your opinion about the truck pulling up hey twiggy twiggy come here uh-uh toilet Come here, big girl. Big girl, you're being a dog. Come here. I know. I know you want to rage. Now, what other color do I have? This pink. 
Yeah, this is a very sort of 60s, 70s kind of design, this packaging, I think. Yeah, I approve of that. Right, it's kind of flat and graphic. I mean, they've, up, they've definitely updated it over the years, but they've kind of like stuck to this basic look of it, which is, I think, pretty good, very appetizing. I mean, so not my favorite that I don't even really want to kiss you after you've eaten it. Ew. Yeah. Like, ugh, get that licorice mouth away from me. Right, I'll go back to smoking cigars. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Then you would never get kissed. Ugh, cigars. Hope none of you are smoking cigars right now. If you are, I apologize. For, I hope I, you were insulted. We always manage to insult someone. It wouldn't be draw with me. We didn't overstep the bounds. Some offend. You've gotten better, and that's why I like having you here because you you are like the FCC. You just kind of step in and say, "Shut up! It's not acceptable behavior." Someone just asked. Mona just asked, "Why is Puglet called Twiggy? Twig Twiggy's name, her full name is Twiglet." after the British snack of the same name. They're like little pretzels. They're coated in, oh wow, I'm losing the name. They're coated in marmite. 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 And they kind of look like the color of a little pug. You could have named her Marmite, I suppose. <laughs> we were thinking we would name her Piglet, but that just seemed too obvious. We really love Twiglets, and they're quite hard to get here in the States. They're yummy. Yummy. All right, that'll have to do. The colors are a little bit off, but... I think your interpretation is solid. Yeah, it's just... You know, you've got to be thinking about your page, you know? You've got to be thinking about yeah, your my page. My page is kind of filling up. I think your page is looking fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool. All right, let's try another one. Uh, let's try, ooh, these, these are sort of dots adjacent, right? Or are you gonna say you don't know them? No, those are too hard on the teeth. See, that's exactly the conundrum. It's like the dot is soft. The jujube is. It's not jujube. Hey, the, uh, the jujubes. landscaping team is just sending us a text asking if it's okay to start. Yeah, tell them they can sell it. It's Juju Bees. Oh, I don't have it. He texted you, not me. Do you have your phone? Sorry, folks. Juju Bees. Not, I haven't seen these in the in the wild that often recently. It's another kind of 60s looking. I feel they're retro. It's a retro candy. Yeah, it's a 60s kind of thing. This type again. This is kind of a swing to the letters here. These are the days when letters like this were all hand done. Probably done by somebody with a brush probably been computerized since then, but their original impulse is definitely hand-lettered. I feel it's been a long time since I've been subjected to a jujube. I mean, why advertise that it's a fat-free candy? Well, I mean, doesn't that just seem less appealing in a way? Like, <laughs> I mean, if the choice is between no candy and a fat-free jujube. I mean, dots are probably fat-free, but you don't see them junking up their package with that kind of... Jujube sounds kind of info. fatty, though, doesn't it? Jujube. I don't know. It doesn't sound like a slenderizing thing. I think it's a great package. I think it adds to the page, but it is definitely my least favorite candy. What know. about chuckles? Those you don't see much anymore, but those were... Well, those were chocolate, right? No. They're like jelly with sugar on them, and they came in different colors. There was like a 
And the one that was the most vile was the green one. Yeah, I don't think I know about chuckles. Ch chuckles, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm sure you guys out there know about chuckles, right? Are we going to draw them today? You said five on the page, or six on the page, right? Mm -hmm. So where are we at now? Was it on the fifth? Two, we're on the sixth. I do. I have a couple more. I have, yeah, I have one more after this. I mean, we still have a whole half an hour. All right, we're, we're going to go back and we're going to fix this page up. So we may have to do some, some work on it. Because I'm kind of just delighting in the experience of drawing this and not really thinking that much about the page. About this creature, or whatever it is, it's a bee. It's a juju bee. It's fat free. It looks. It has a fat round body though. <laughs> so what's up with that? I kind of like that look. I love this green. I'm not going to color it in, though. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm cool with that. I kind of wish that I had done it all along. Uh-oh. What? You just made that sort of charming creature look kind of menacing. It's an insect. I don't want insects on my food, really. I'm not sure why people like to do insect food. What are insects that you can think of that have that are food related? Sugar smacks? No, that's a frog. Yeah. Um, uh, Cheerios. There's that bee. Isn't oh that bee? yeah, you're right. Honey nut Cheerios. You're right. The honey nut honey. because of the honey. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. Let's try one more. Let's try this. Another favorite. I like these. Particularly because of that lettering. I'm going to take my time this time. We have, we have time for me to take my time, right? For sure. Let's take our time getting the M and the M's. When I was a kid and I didn't live in America, these M&Ms were such an exotic thing. Every so often, I remember I had a friend whose dad was in the military in Pakistan, and he got to go to the KP, the official KP of um, the US military there. That was the first time I ever had an M&M. It was from the KP in Pakistan. And I thought, wow, America seems like a really great place. See, I think the M&M compares poorly to the Smarty. Mm, I don't entirely agree with that. Smarties are smaller. They're harder. The chocolate is not as juicy. Yeah, it's like the more of the candy shell. It's more shell. Yeah, it's more shelly. So, you know, sometimes you want that. But I think Smarties might melt in your hand. Not in your not in your mouth. Well, they probably melt in your Smarties aren't woke. Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, there's that whole problem. Politics and candy. Sad. We live in a sad time. I really wouldn't 
think that those were two things that had, had to have had to interact. And what about the printing? What about the printing of the M on each on each candy? How is that even done? I don't know, but I think you can get custom ones. Right, I remember when that was going. People on. would yeah. sometimes have them like for a wedding, or I mean, that's cute as heck. How, get, what like, would they print on them? We'd put like J J loves D G. I think you can actually get little pictures printed, little graphic images. I think our friend Ro did that once. It's going a bit far, isn't it? It was so cute. So you can like eat your friend's face? No, it was like just like a little kind of an icon or something. I'm a fan of the personalization. Being a good girl. I'm holding this pug because the, the lawn care team is making a bit of noise. She wants to bark at them, but she's being a good girl. I would say you often buy the peanut M and M's. I do because because they're good for you. They have nuts in them, <laughs> <laughs> and they're probably yeah, not so. fat free. They contain fat like a candy should. Yeah, somebody just pointed out the eyebrows of this character are way up there. See that? Yeah, that's gross. They're, you're right. They're floating above its head. <laughs> they're like little antenna. Drawing very small, it's, it's not exactly what I want. But. Somebody's talking about coffee M&Ms. I have never seen those. Oh, really? They had ones for, I don't know if they still have them, but they were like pretzels and caramely. Oh, they were good. All right, so that's a, I, that's this is a, a fun page. It's a fun page, right? It's yeah. Fun. It's fun. Super fun. We still have 20 minutes. I know, so I should probably do some writing. Let's try some writing. What color have I not used yet? Maybe. Maybe I'll use this. Rick is asking, are you philosophically opposed to using a ruler? A ruler? I would say yes. I would... Measuring things? <laughs> you mean for doing, like drawing a, a rectangle? I don't think you've ever used a ruler for any reason. You know, every time I use a ruler, something bad usually happens. <laughs> a, I'm too careless and I don't measure properly, or it, the ruler touches wet ink or something. Yeah, no, I don't really feel the need for a ruler. Your, but you can use one if you well, want. Well, your approach is, what is your impression of a thing? Not necessarily to make it... I'm an impressionist, like... Uh, Rich Hall. What was the name? Uh, I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, he was a famous impressionist. Oh. When I, who do you think of as an impressionist? You. No, I mean like somebody who does impressions. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, I was going to go with Monet. <laughs> he did a really good impression. <laughs> he was, he was I was kind of thinking he about the like lawn care great, people. He did a great Balzac from what I remember hearing. <laughs> See, this is where I really like these brushes, brush pens, because you see this? This is squidgy. Yeah, that feels luscious. And that's why they call it a lettering thing. I mean, I think they, they probably intend it to just be for lettering, and I'm using it for coloring. But you can do whatever you want with it. Just have fun. It doesn't come with... I mean, I must say these markers are not tremendously expensive. And I know yeah. sometimes we say that and then you have another country chime in that it's expensive there. But I think these are a German products. So, you know, for our European oh. viewers, I think they might be relatively inexpensive there as well. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself. 
get some candy and get some editing markers. That's true. These are, um, they're originally from Germany. So. That's what I, yeah. yeah. So if you're in Europe... What about popcorn? We haven't really talked about that. We've talked about it in the chat. Uh, I personally don't enjoy the flavoring, the butter flavoring. I think that's the controversy on that. But some people have objected to the fact that I like to put my certain candies, chocolate candies, into the pop. So, you know, people have popcorn, popcorn rules and how to break them. What is not a movie candy? <clears throat> um, I mean, I'm pretty sure all I, anything crunchy. Yeah, well, well, Cracker Jacks, those are crunchy, aren't they? I guess. I mean, that's sort of like our friend with the kettle corn, although it was really the packaging more. But she was chomping. I, sometimes it's really annoying to hear somebody chew bothers you sometimes more than other times but in the movie theater you just want people to kind of keep to their own like don't disturb the people next to you oh wayward pelican chiming in with C's candy the best candy of all kind of spendy for a, for a, you know we but if we keep using the senior discount for the tickets then we can justify a splurge of C's We would. We have a show to recommend for you, by the way. Speaking of pelicans, yeah, Chris Cooper, I think his name is maybe Christopher Cooper. He's a birder who. I th what channel was that show on? It's on national. The national. It's a National, national Geographic, Geographic show, but we watched it also on. Who maybe? But it's on. It's a. It's a National Geographic show. It's excellent. I mean, if you're into birding. But if you're not, if you're not into birding, it it might make you be into birding because it's very it's as sweet as this page of candy. He is a sweet human. He is so joyous. And he does a whole thing about pelicans. Yep. Well, we only watched the first episode, and there were a whole interstitial about pelicans. Yeah. Yeah. Three thumbs up. Highly recommend. What's it called? Do you remember? I think it's called like. Birding with Christian Cooper. I don't know. I, I can't Google this. has a better name than that. I look at this pug. She's crashed out. Yeah, this, these markers are definitely happy when they're doing lettering. Definitely happy. Wine gums, you like those, right? Yeah. I mean, I, as a British person, you're required had, to like wine gums. Well, I've right? had to modify my... Yeah, my the pandemic my, was not friendly to Danny's teeth. So so I used to love um, oh, milk duds. Yeah, milk duds. Milk duds. But then they pulled out one of my, f <laughs> my fillings, and wine gums are kind of the same thing, where they grind them into your teeth, and then they... Um, they can pull out your cavities or your, your fillings or your crowns or whatever. So, yeah. Again, a plug for dots because they don't do that. Someone just mentioned sugar babies. I feel like I haven't heard oh, about yeah, those sugar babies, yeah. since Halloween, those are like, like caramel. 1985. They're just like brown, brown blobs of caramel. Arlene's voting for Raisinets, which you do love. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, for me, I would rather not a Raisin. Yeah, Jay Diamond, one Diamond says C's is non-movie candy. I think if you're eating movie theater candy, you're kind of not... It has to be mindless. Exactly. It's, it's like you're just sort of like... In. 
You can't right. you can, housing, you have, housing it down your yeah, mouth, not down your you gullet. you have to uh, kind of appreciate. Seeds it deserves appreciation. All right, so this is my overall page here. I love it. It's colorful. It's, it's, it's chipper. I hope that yours is turning out well, too. And feel free to editorialize and uh, write little notes in the margins and stuff like that. That's part of the fun. Oh, Jean just brought up Maltesers. Oh, yes. Infinitely better than a Whopper. But a Whopper will do if that's all you can get your hands on. I like malted, malted tastes. Malted anything. Malted anything. Yeah. Yeah. Into it. Into it. All right, well, there you go. I think that's it. I think you're done. I think I'm done. That was fun. Fun to play with these things. Does it bother me that this is brown? Not brown, not colored in? No. The, the M&Ms? Yeah. I mean, if you color yeah. it in, then you've got a lettering dilemma. Yeah. Get around it. It just feels like it feels a little naked in the corner there. Naked in the corner. Coming soon to Hulu. <laughs> Haley Stone said, I drew some Astros. That's a candy I've never heard of. I didn't Astros. think it was possible to come maybe up with the candy I wasn't maybe familiar they're with. Not American. Haley, are they an uh, international brand? Astros. Anyway, Astros. What about Sherbert Fountains? Can't really have a Sherbert Fountain in the movies, though. You'd end up coming out like covered. It would look like you'd been like huffing cocaine throughout the movie or something like that when you came out. It was like those uh, fun dips. Fun dip, yeah. All right, well, I could endlessly twizzle this, but I think I'll leave it. Ends down. Um, let me just Step away from the page. Yeah, this there it is. That's the whole page in all its beauty. I'm into it. It'll do. It'll do as a journal page. I mean, I like to I like to do a page like that in in my journal periodically because, you know, just as a kind of collage page, a little collection page it's fun. of stuff. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to go for something light yeah. and fanciful. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've done something along these lines even in this sketchbook before. Have I? Some earlier ones. Here's, here's another, um, another collage page of Twiggy's toys. <laughs> Blobby. Yeah, so there's a Twiggy's toys as a collage page. And then there's this one, which is a collage page of hats. From long ago. I definitely feel like I did the candy thing. Collection of things. Collection of things. The candy I remember was like Almond Joy. Here's Almond Joy. Oh, look at that! How did you find that right on Yeah, like you? on demand, right? There's some other candy. I think you must have used watercolors for that. Oh, yeah. These are some other candies that we did. So we've done candy before, and we've done frogs. Remember those. So, yeah. Good. 
Twiggy, are you done? Are you ready to go out and meet meet the gardeners? What? You want to go say hi to Fairman? Oh, All right, guys. Well, um, thank you very much for joining us today, drawing with us today. Um, um, so, yeah, today is Eat Movie Candy Day. Is it Movie Candy Day? I mean, tomorrow we're going to Oppenheimer, so we will certainly swing by you know the we CBS. Should, you know we should take with us? Atomic Fireballs. <laughs> And we will. Atomic Fireballs. Those are good candies. Um, so, yeah. So, if you would like to get a set of, of these Edding 1340s, write to us, please, at info at sketchbookschool.com. I'd love to see your candy. So, please tag it. Put it on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, and tag it. Hashtag SBS to draw with me. And next week, we will be like kids in a candy store or kids in a movie theater. Um, when we have a whole procession of candies. Danny'sEssays.com is my weekly essay. It comes out tomorrow. And I have a major surprise announcement to make tomorrow in Danny'sEssays.com. So if you haven't subscribed, maybe you should. It's free. Subscribe to this channel, too. If you subscribe to the channel, I know people always say this on YouTube, but in this case, it's actually kind of important because if you subscribe then we'll notify you next week when we get together again. It'll be a reminder. So I know. Don't you want to know? Don't you want to know? And um, also, you know, various other videos that we make and put out there, we'll, you'll be notified about those. So that's about it. JJ, I, oh, I hope that you've enjoyed yourself and uh, Always. ready to go to the movies. Thursday's my favorite day of the week. Is it really? Yeah, it's great. It's mini Friday. Mini Friday. It's... <laughs> We've, oh, we're post hump. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.